Um, yeah, we're gonna miss a day, but we're here. We shouldn't whisper. Mm-mm. We're, we're not gonna be here. Mm-hmm. So this is the Legacy Nets podcast. This is episode sixteen, more specifically. Um, I think. I know. Why do I think last week might have been sixteen? Okay, never mind. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Welcome to the Legacy Nets podcast. For anybody that is new. And for anybody that is returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Romo's barking outside the door. Mm-hmm. Nobody hears him. Nope. <laughs> Hopefully not. No, I'm talking to people in the house. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. <sighs> Who are you? My name is Chelsea. My name is Sue. I'm the daughter. I'm the mother. I think most people know that by now. Well, if they're new viewers, maybe new not. New viewers do not know that. Yeah. So Do not know that. This is a knitting and crafting and making podcast. Uh, And should we let Romo in? I'm going to go let him in. (laughs) We sometimes have a third co-host that is anxiously awaiting his entrance. Look at how far away my yarn went. Good thing he's not a cat. He is. He would get all caught up in that. You want to come up? He's been with us all weekend. Chelsea just returned. He was missing literally me just returned. Yes. Um, so that was not nice to <clears throat> ban him from the room. It's true. What were we thinking? Now Isabel's going to bark. So the reason I haven't been here all weekend is because we were up in Vermont, spending some time seeing a concert, spending some time with um, our friends up there. So, so I just returned. We had the beautiful thing about visiting Vermont is that it's almost a four-hour drive each way. So yeah, but in car knitting. Yeah, but now that Justin knits. I know neither of us drove either. One of our good friends, Dylan, drove this oh. time, so Justin got to do in-car knitting as well. I thought that meant you had to drive and give up your knitting time, which I don't think I'd be okay with that. No, luckily he has. He needs to be driving. It's a, like a control thing. Oh, he likes that's like dad. It's yeah. a good thing. I'm okay with that. That's what I like. I don't I think I'll it. ever have to. I don't think I'll ever yeah. have to take that over. Yeah. But, but the um, times that I've had to be the driver, look mm-hmm. at me, I cannot put this down, mm-hmm. that I've had to be the driver. It's brutal. <sighs> it's awful. I don't like driving, to be honest with you. I'm not a big driver. See, I kind of do like driving. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, oh, oh, here we go. Oh. What? There he is. Here We're he filming. is. Come say hello. Come say hello. Hello. Stick oh, your head in. The video. You're, oh, you're the worst. Oh, we'll sweet. show this in a minute. We're like we're he's, waiting for you. He's not. He hid. I thought he's behind me. No, he hates the camera. Oh, I Jesse. tried to coerce him. And you know what? Having said that, we need to say hello to two very important people that I did not realize watched us. I don't have the slightest idea who you're talking about. We'll see. At least pretend these are important people. I can't read your mind. Lisa, Justin's mom. Oh, yeah. And Argentina. Yeah. Hello. Nice. You knew they watched. You probably talked to them about it. Yes. <coughs> I did know. Hi, guys. Hey. I can't believe you watch. You're so fun. I know. So sweet. We'll try and get Justin on here for you guys yeah. one of these weeks because I think that'd be so cool. So fun. Especially now that he's a knitter. So I feel like we're doing a little bit of rambling. We for are. For anybody that doesn't watch the podcast, my husband's name is Justin. Um, he has recently caught the knitting bug as well. He he has. Holy cow. He's obsessed. Like, it, it it's amazing. It it's makes so me cool. so happy. Yeah, me too. I think it makes him so happy. Yeah. He's knitting me a pair of socks right now, which I think is so special. Fabulous, too. Um, they're really great. I actually think I have them in that bag that he just handed us. Yes, because so he has his own project bag. I bought him a project bag. And um, Harry Potter, of course, because he is also obsessed with Harry Potter, like we all are. Well, like a lot of us are. Yes. Um, did, did he... Um, when Ben was watching him, did it make Ben want to knit? I think we're going to get him. Uh, I think you're going to, too. I think Jacob would be a terrific... These are our, my boys, mm-hmm. Jacob and Ben. Um, I think I think they both would be fantastic knitters. Mm-hmm. I, I really so do. I could see Ben getting hooked in more than Jacob at this point right now. Well, I think... Yes, I agree with you. And I think that, especially because we are when we move up there, I think when he comes to hang out, he's going to feel be left knitting. out. Yeah. So... I mean, it's going to become a family affair very soon. I love it. So, oh yeah, emergency snack time. Emergency snack. We have chocolate-covered pretzels. These are famous chocolate-covered pretzels that we sent to both Tracy and Jody. 
mm -hmm. of the Groceria Girls that they shared them this week. And of course, Sarah and Lydia. Sarah and Lydia. Our old Luke's friends. Yeah. Yeah. We are all having the same emergency snack this week. Yes. We almost always have those in stock. Um, in this house. In the house. We have these big, well, mom has these big glass jars. Yes. Well, and I always made them and filled the jars because A, they're really pretty and B, dad loves them. He's obsessed. He loves them. Yeah. And I am all about feeding people. Yeah. Um. So he made a huge error though. Oh. Huge error. Oh, is this the sprinkle thing? Uh-huh. Oh boy. So they're on, I forget what you call the back to be when you put a long thin table behind a couch there's mm -hmm. a name for that kind of table which i don't know mm -hmm. and that's where the jars were and i also add little sprinkles to them because just saw them. and they're, they're super pretty and they're normally like seasonal so like for yeah. valentine's day they'll be pink and red and white and these are the easter sprinkles mm -hmm. he informed me that it might not be a good idea anymore to have those jars there because the sprinkles were falling on the wood floor we might want to think of a more hmm. What did he call? I wish I could remember. Yeah. We might want to think of a better place for them. Mm. Error, <sighs> error, error, Will Rogers, you or know, whatever that. Yeah. Robot. Warning, Will Rogers. Warning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Error, Will Rogers. <laughs> Whoever. <laughs> <Works too. laughs> yeah. So, Money you know, you'd think after all these years, he would. Well, Think especially thought through a little more because he is the he one of the largest those. customers when it comes yes. to those jars. Come here, Rob. Slow me. Turn it over. He's like wandering. He can't decide where he wants to be. He's trying to figure out the best way to get up. On yeah, his come on, Romy, come on. He's not your yarn around. <laughs> He'd be totally entangled. There he is. So yeah, so it is a very common emergency snack for us. Not so much anymore. I just I don't know. Might want it's to work gonna, on that. Hopefully he'll watch this and understand that <laughs> apology letters might need to be written. Might need to be written. I'm okay with it. He did some great services this weekend around here. He so did. Did you I guys not see mom's? In well, you look at mom's Instagram. Instagram, and I'll actually I'll put a picture in right here. But dad, well, you can tell them on the wall. And we had them in our our previous house, and I used them because they were right above a heating grate. Mm -hmm. We had a very old house. We lived in the house that my great grandfather had built. For his wife, I think. That Sounds lineage right. might be wrong, but it was built in my family. It was the more, most gorgeous house in the world. I would still be there today. It just was not in a great part of town anymore, mm. and we didn't have land. Um, so we did sell it with a very heavy heart. I still miss it to this day. Every time it comes up for sale, we think about rebuying it. We completely redid it. I'm going off on a tangent. Anyways, okay. we had one of these and we forgot to bring it with us and it was a really special so that isn't dad thought that was the one it isn't oh you guys left one at the we house? left one oh. at the house if not more than one because i feel like there was other ones there it was an old house my grandfather was a woodworker anyway so my mother found some at a flea market they were five dollars each they're hard to find if you can find them they're not expensive but they're hard to find mm -hmm. i've had it for probably Two or three years. I have another one that will go up next. It just needs a little more work. And finally, finally, in trying to be a little more organized, trying to tidy up my space, which is giving me so much more brain space, mm -hmm. which I love mm -hmm. and I know it's needed. So I mounted, Dave mounted it on the wall and all my project bags are hanging from it and it is a sight. Mm -hmm. It is so pretty. It is. It is so pretty. They're just so, and we're, that's what we're staring we're at. We're staring at it because you can't help but stare at it. The colors of your project bags, oh. they go together so well. I'm going to put a picture in. I'll put a picture. In it's, here, it's probably floating it. around as, as I'm saying this. But Oh, Romo's head is heavy again. He's <laughs> back. having trouble holding it up. Hi, Romy. Say hello to all of your friends. Say hello, friends. Do you know, we all know dogs watch this podcast. I know. That was so have, fun to see. We have see. dog fans. And our dogs are fans of your podcast, mm -hmm. too, if they hear barking mm -hmm. dogs. I love that we have dog fans. It's it's pretty special. I think. It's pretty cool. Yeah. What are we drinking? I am drinking some jasmine green tea. Uh -oh. Perfect. I'm drinking some jasmine green tea. And I am drinking Zevia cherry cola. I've heard those are very good. They're I very good. No sugar, no artificial sweeteners. It does contain caffeine. I didn't think it did. I enjoy it caffeine. I don't have a problem with that. Oh, nice. Yeah, really. 
I should be drinking it. It's vegan, kosher, and gluten-free. It's very, it's so good. There's got to be something bad about it, but I don't see anything. No GMOs. Yeah, whatever. I enjoy it. I like the root beer better, but it's impossible to find. Mm, people have discovered At that. Stop and Shop. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have stevia? I Any think. health food store. Or oh. And they've gone mainstream now, too. Like Stop and Shop. And yeah. Yeah. Whole Foods. So. Yeah. That's what we're drinking. Yep. That's, that's what, what we're, we're eating. Those are our most, our current events. Bag hanging, Vermont tripping. Yeah, it's been a really productive weekend around here. Yeah. It feels that way. Really productive. One thing got done. Maybe One two. We have all new blinds in my office, too, which you can't see, but... I've always worried in the summer because, and in the winter, we get so much sun. This is all afternoon sun. In mm -hmm. the summer, you can't even be in here. It's very it's bright. It's very warm and hot, mm -hmm. if it's a hot summer. Um, all new blinds have been put up so that now I can see everything from the light. Yeah. Which makes me feel really better. I always worry. Mm -hmm. That it will wash some of the... Yeah, like I wouldn't have hung those if I knew they would all fade. They yeah. probably still will a little, but I'll be moving them back and forth with projects. Yeah, exactly. You some use those. projects in them. We should, we'll put a picture in because really oh, well. we're talking about. No, I will have already put a picture in <laughs> so earlier. So you guys know what we're talking about now. Yes. Hopefully. So should we get to some knitting? I think we should get to some knitting because grandma's coming for dinner. Yes, she is. So we're spaghetti on. Spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs. They're the giant. You can't even imagine how many pounds probably of meatballs yeah a lot it'll be gone by the end of the night it will a giant be. crock pot full and i'm gonna toot mom's horn a little bit she makes the world's best meatballs grandma's recipe and okay well that makes sense yeah they're massive they are like you you need to yeah they're huge and they're delicious i've changed from regular breadcrumbs to panko crumbs is that, is that i think it's better uh, actually, I remember you told me you made them that way the last time, and they were delicious. They're a little aren't, but softer. Does that make any sense? Mm, almost, yeah, like fluffy is such a bad yeah, way. Yeah, they're not I know like, what you mean. They're not as dense. Not as dense, which sometimes makes them a little tough. Mm -hmm. They're delicious. Ugh. No homemade sauce. Sorry. There the, go. the meatballs are enough. Maybe. Yeah, and sausage. Mm. And garlic bread. Obsessed. Yes, one of those. I love it. So, we should get right into knitting. Let's do it. What do yeah. you want to do first? Should we do some whips? Let's do some whips. And and the good thing, well, it's not a good thing, but our last few have been a bit longer. And so I don't. we don't have as much. We don't have a lot of acquisitions. Mm -hmm. I have. We have very little. Very little. So, yeah, we're excited so to just have like a... let's get into whips. Let's do it. And we have a new section, which we don't have sections. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a little stitchery oh. going on. We're going to start including a little stitchery because I'm becoming obsessed again. I need to get on the, I need to get on your level. I know. You're so there. We just need to get I your just need project. To do it. Maybe next time Justin goes to drill, that'll be yeah. one of our things. Yeah. It's so fun. I'm, I've become obsessed. Go ahead. Works in progress. Well, so I'll show you the one that I'm going to be knitting on for this episode because for some reason I'm just, I can't. I can't not knit today for some I know, reason. I'm feeling the same way. Yeah. Ooh, little so hair in my tea. tea. So I have a hoe yeah, hold on. slash a whip. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. You can throw it out. They're just so, these socks are so pretty. And if you recall last week, I was like, you know, that yarn, it's super pretty, but it's really not you. And I was okay. really on the fence about it. I need some. I love it. I, I need some. So this oh is my gosh. Stitched Together Studios. I'm sorry, I'm covering your face. Oh, um, right. Yarn. It's in the, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Cosmic Nebula. That sounds right. Colorway. Um, it has some silver Stellina in there. <gasps> I'm not sure. This Ooh. sounds really right, but I can't tell if, I don't know it's if you perfect. can see it or it's not. It's perfect. But, so this is my first one. I did uh, 56 stitches on US 1.5s, high, high sharps in the magic, in magic loop. I love high higher sharps. Me too. And actually, I saw your most recent Periscope about them winning your mm. the title, and I'm with you. Yeah, they I'm won the you. title. Right I'm, now for me. Yeah. Talk about that heel, because it's beautiful. I did uh, an eye of partridge heel. This is the first time I've ever done an eye of partridge heel. I thought you've done one. I, this is the first time? You know, oh, that's Sorry. right there. Oh, it's there perfect. I 
have done them. I'm trying to think what I just wanted to talk about them. I feel like I've done them once or twice, but I think, I always think like, well, I don't know. Can you even see it for all that? I actually, work. I had the same thought. I had the you same thought. You can so see it. Mm -hmm. I agree. It is gorgeous. So it just adds a little bit of a yeah. texture. So I have partridge is, instead of the traditional drop heel where you slip one, knit one, every row. Um, you it, alter it, it. Yeah, what, they jog it. They jog it. So it's on the first row, it's slip one, knit one, slip one, knit one, and then you do your traditional pearl back mm -hmm. and then knit one slip one knit one slip. the opposite so yeah the way that they they wrote it where on um, uh sock architecture they do you slip one knit two slip one knit one slip one knit one, slip oh. one, knit one and then you end with a knit two again oh see i don't know that one i'm gonna look at that yeah i don't know love it so i did that and then i did a two by two um ribbing at the top here is it twisted it's not twisted okay. no i i always i love the look of a twisted rib However, I always forget that I'm doing it because I'm trying to do it mindlessly and I always forget to knit in the back. So I just end up and tinking back more than I knit. Were we having this conversation? It's so hard to remember where conversations take place, mm -hmm. if we had it here or not. How some people, oh, it was another set of podcasters. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know who it was? The Knitty Not Wits, Knit Wits, Knitty. I don't know. I love them. Mm -hmm. Michelle and Leslie. Mm hmm. They'll appreciate that I don't remember the name because they always do the same thing. Anyways, one of them always for the twisted rib did knit through the back loop, purl through the back loop. So they were oh, always, so, wasn't back. so you never got that. I always only knit the stitches through the back, back loop, loop and then too. purled normal. And one of them did it that way and one of them did it the other way, mm -hmm. which is very interesting because she was like, oh, that's going to make it so much easier to just purl. Oh, yeah. curious what it looked very like. Interesting. That's yeah. what I was more curious about. Um, yeah, I would be very curious too. Like, because isn't the whole point of the twisted rib to make it pop, pop a out? Bit so I wonder if you do the pearl too, if it maybe it pushes pulls it. it back. I don't know. It sounds like a lot of work. Pearling through the back loop is not one of my favorite. It sounds things terrifying. To do. Yeah, I don't I hate like pearling as it is. Yeah, I confess that today on Instagram. I saw that. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> Um, I did the square heel out. Oh, it's really hard to, it's really hard to see. It's really fun. I actually really like this heel. I don't know if it, if you're getting a good Jody or Tracy were talking square heel. I've never done it. I think it's also called a Dutch heel. Oh. Um, I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but try it. when I, cause I, the sock architecture book, I find, I love, I love like reading it and getting ideas from it, but the way the instructions are written to me are not the clearest. And I think it's because I don't read all of it I just go You're right like to me. like the rows yeah like, like why bother knowing all the details when you can just zero in on what you need and mess up and then miss a lot mm -hmm. exactly like me yeah exactly so I, I went to YouTube and I ended up um, searching Dutch heel and that's how I got I did the tutorial there love it and then I'll I did it. I forget what this toe is called um I, oh I don't know but again um, it was from sock architecture by Laura Neal is it like the strap didn't you call it? Oh, maybe that's what it's called. Strap toe. I'll put it on the screen. Yeah, I, don't I can't remember. But it's basically a wedge toe just worked the opposite this way and not this way. So you and have what the decreases. Is the benefits of that? It's just a different It's look. just a design element. Yeah. I mean, that feels funny on your foot, though. I tried it on. It was fine. It didn't. Yeah. Okay. Because I know any texture on the bottom for some people is an issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for me, I don't. I feel like I lost feeling in my feet after <laughs> after dancing after all dancing those for years. twenty years. Who needs to feel the bottom years. of your feet? Yeah, it's overrated. Am it's I right? Overrated. So yeah, that is one of my um, hoes, and then I have started the second top, oh. and my progress keeper is one of my favorites. Ooh, that sun's bright. Oh, that sun is wow. like right there. It is my little sheep for Molly. Oh, that is adorable. Oh, it's so cute. The yarn. Oh my god! You know what I, I could see in that yarn amazing. too? What? A little baby sweater. Local. Oh my gosh, yes. By the way, Amanda had her baby. Uh, Does anybody even know? No. <laughs> okay, so Chelsea's cousin, mm -hmm. my niece, had our second, my second great nephew. Great nephew? Yeah, he's my great nephew. I'm his great aunt. Great auntie Susan. Camden Burke. Such a handsome name. Such a handsome name, brother to Colton. Timothy. I was trying mm -hmm. to think of Colton's middle name. 
A lot of family info you're getting today. Yeah. A lot. Was born about two o'clock in the morning. In the morning, yeah. So we have a new baby in the we fam. We have a new baby in the fam. But I don't, girl, though. I don't think you would appreciate a sweater no, in these No, but can you picture that in a little... Oh, my gosh. Simple, simple. It, it can just be, I would call it a vanilla sweater. Yeah. Like, no pattern. Because the yarn does all the work. Raglan, little cardigan. Oh, my goodness. I think that would be so cute. So well, I have a lot of this yarn left over mm, also. Just like so. it. Yeah. So this could be coming to a mini swap near you, depending on how much I have left. So it's kind I feel of like I wish I have a decent amount. I wish the sun was We're like in the there. really wrong spot. Oh, you can see the Stellina today. there. See, it's yeah, sparkly, it's guys. Gorgeous. Isn't it pretty? And the black. You keep talking about that little I'm obsessed. pop of black. It makes it. Mm -hmm. Without that, I might have gone, oh, it's a little sappy. That's a word I use a lot. If it's too, like, mm -hmm. it's not. I know what you mean. Yeah. No, it's it's like the black makes it edgy. It does. I like it. Again, it reminds me of New Kids on the Block. See it on gloves. I could see it everywhere. Yeah. And you know what? They have an awesome Instagram feed, and I feel like it is going to enable me to buy so much of their yarn. The yarn does? Yes. Oh, you're going to have to hook yes. me up with that. It's, I'm going to have no oh, money ever yeah. in my life because mm -hmm. I've been really itching to get yarn again. Oh, then definitely check them out. Stitch Together Studio, I believe. Um, so, yeah. That's my first whip. All right. What's your first whip? I have a whip, and I have it in. The lovely <gasps> Mrs. Brown's bags, bags, which I love this bag. Mm -hmm. Laura just had one of these. Uh, Quan and the Fa or the Fawn Knits had podcast gave yes. one of these away. Yes, uh, Clint's, Clint's and I love the very little amount of interfacing. Me too. It's I'm so funny that. because in Carrie's a frickle, frickled, frickled, <laughs> frickled whimsy. I love her use of a lot of interfacing. Mm -hmm. It just all depends on... It depends. Yeah. On this bag, I love it. I it's love perfect. it. I Especially love it. because I feel like project bags that are like that, if your project sits a little bit lower, what I tend to do is I'll roll it. Yeah, same with Carrie's. I do top. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, even like when I'm storing it. So like if I'm oh, throwing you, it in my... You're right. You do this. <laughs> That's what you meant. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, you're 100% right. See, and I would never do this with Carrie's. No, because it would because it would I wouldn't uh, compromise the interface. So I use hers when I have a bunch of projects and it's my only bag I have with mm -hmm. me. I love it. Anyways, I'm obsessed uh, right now with again, so late to the party. Waffles. Blueberry waffles. The waffles, guys. It's all about the waffles. Blueberry right waffles. I have two in here. Hold on. Hold on. Are you a little bit tangled? Can I help you? <laughs> Hang on. Let me help you. He help me. How is this? It's this oh, one. Oh, okay. It's over That's that. Let me do this. <sighs> Gotta start getting a sneak peek. Holy guacamole. <laughs> okay. We don't care. Okay. Using Magical Molly's. And yes, she's okay with us Magical calling her Molly. Magical Molly. Because she really is. Let's be honest. She is. Guys. And she's, she's embracing the name. And thank you for that, Molly. Because it's true. I'm sorry. It's okay. You can keep going. <laughs> this, is why I, this is why I have a hanger for my project bags. Because this is really what I'm like. It's fine. It's okay. Okay, so Blueberry Waffles, Magic wow. Loop, US 1.5s. Amazing. Did you... I was un untangling. Did you tell them the colorway? Uh, Mermaid? Mermaid? Lady of the Black Lady. Lake. <laughs> Black Lagoon Woman. <laughs> Lake is involved. Lady is involved. I think so, too. Lady always, of the Black Lake. Lady of the Black Lake? I think that's what it is. Molly, excuse us. We're so... I am... We're the worsted. We're, We're the, the worsted. worsted. We try so hard. But you all know because you saw Lara making these. She made blueberry waffles too with hers, huh? Either that or Hermione's. We keep going oh, back and forth mm -hmm, on that. Mm -hmm. Lady of the Lake. Lady of the Lake. Let's go with it. We don't know. We, I will. Molly, please accept our apologies. <laughs> it is late in the day. And you know what? I didn't bring my next colorway either. Darn it. I don't remember it either. You wouldn't even know it. It's the Do you want me to keep going? Keep going. Because this is all I have for works in progress. Let's go for it. So again, late to the party. Blueberry waffles. 
oh, using oh my god that fantastic o loops it's one of their harry potter colorways it's not darn it is it it's not minister of magic it's not wizarding something we oh my god we Guys, are supposed to like be helping promote lovely <sighs> We are unprepared. We're unprepared. Ill-prepared. It's Harry Potter related. It's one of their Harry I'm Potter I'm pretty sure colorways. it's wizarding something. I will make sure that I include We'll include the it because the tags the are notes. over there. We'll put it in the, in yeah. the show notes. Sorry. And I'm using a gray, it's like a Regia. Mm -hmm. So I use one, I use that exact skein for my three color color. There's some, there's a little bit of cashmere in it. There's Is it the Alpaca Merino? There's a lot of babies us. flying around. They're going to fire us. Jeez. We're going to work harder. We're going to work harder gonna next time. This, you guys. Okay, it's red to you. you I really don't think it's available. Anyways, get a beautiful gray. That's mm. all. I'm all about. All about. Feels, we talked. Feels so and cuffs. I'm all about it. Yeah. The only thing I don't like is all the ends. Oh. I'm yeah. really. There's a lot. <sighs> but this did not have any nylon content. I'm not sure who these are going to, if they're for me or not, but I thought, you know what? I I wanted to put another color in with mm -hmm. it anyway, so I picked something with nylon content for those areas that wear a little differently. Well, and that combination is flawless. Do you like it? It's fl I think it's perfect. I th I'm still on the fence, but I think oh, I love it. I love I it. I think I love it. So anyways, blueberry waffle, blueberry waffle, blueberry waffle. Put syrup on top. I... Amazing. I could I cast on three more. Okay, and this is what I talked about. If you don't follow me on Periscope, I will give the quick thing about the needles. I have always said, oh, Haya Hayas, Eddie, Sock Rockets. They're so close. I've never worked on them in tandem like this. Mm -hmm. Haya Haya takes the prize. It's super close, mm -hmm. but Haya Haya takes the prize for me because of the points. These are lethal. so pointy mm -hmm. and I love that mm -hmm. me too. because for me I really enjoy knitting fast mm -hmm. I really do that's yeah. part of the process for me the faster I can knit the happier I am mm -hmm. like I don't need to slowly knit and enjoy the process no just keep knitting keep those needles moving so these one I love these but these one they didn't really ask but how I about the cord them. cord still high high up um I like always if you could have your perfect Frankenstein. I think I would go Frankenstein needle. Would it be? Yeah, I think I would go cord of the sock rocket. To be honest, it's it's a little more pliable. Mm. It's so funny because it's very contrary to what a lot of other people I've heard say about. Yeah, I, yeah. But I really love the cord. I'm always taken aback when people say, "Oh, the cord I can't stand." I know because it's so pliable. Mm. I mean, the high highs are too, but I, I remember, because I haven't knit with sock rockets in a very long time. I don't have a I magic loop either. set. Um, but I remember always really liking yeah. the cord of the um, sock rockets. I'll just go hang this up. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, go ahead. I love your blueberry waffles. I do too. I love them. And as long as we're on the blueberry waffle train, I have a sock blocker. I'm sorry. Yes, you can. I haven't even tried these on yet. I just literally got these <gasps> off of the needles oh. with the ends woven in on the dry. I'm so, I can't believe you actually stopped and woven those ends. I have to. I don't know what it is. I it's know. A thing I don't. With me. I want to. Yeah. I, I, I almost didn't actually. In my mind, I was like, oh, don't. you know what? They can wait. No, you're so smart. Um, but no, I, I, oh, I you guys it. are going to die. Guys, I'm so excited. I know we're punctuating right now, but it's okay. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Okay, sorry. Um, so these are my blueberry waffles. Well, it's one of them. Um, uh, again, the sun is really messing. It's our... such in a weird spot. It's yeah. literally coming in that path. Yeah, yeah. Between us and the computer, they're gorgeous. It's my first one. I need to make another one, obviously. Um, but this was using Homespun House yarn in her Mirth colorway. I remember that one. A plus for Chelsea Marie Stokes Zakarowitz. Boom. So, um, yeah, this was my first blueberry waffle sock that I've ever made, and I love it. I, I haven't tried it on yet. before. No, mm. never. 
Um, I really enjoyed knitting the pattern. Um, how many stitches? 50s. I've just dis I've discovered that uh, 56 stitches with 1.5s is, is my perfect fit. And I've gone to 60. Mm -hmm. One of mine is a 60, and one I think is a 64. Mm -hmm. I should write that down because I'll go to make the second one and not now. I need to start doing that too. Oh, the worst I keep thinking did. the same thing. The worst did. So I did um, another eye of partridge heel. I don't know. This one, I actually don't know if you can tell. You can definitely. You can? Okay. Yeah. So it's eye of partridge heel again. Same, the square um, heel turn. Um, and then I did the swirl toe from Laura Neal's. Uh, <laughs> So bad. I'm sorry. It's literally in this 12-inch path yeah. of sunlight between us and the computer. It's not good. Um, but I think they call this the swirl toe. I love it. Hopefully you guys can get a good idea. I love it. Um, thanks. And I did. I end up. I ended up really falling in love with the heels, toes, and puffs that you you recommended. This yarn is koi goo. I don't know what the color is. I do have the band somewhere. And you know what? There is no nylon in koi goo. But feel how sturdy it yeah, is. Super, yeah, you know why? It's got a probably a really tight twist. It's a heavy fingering. Yeah. And so that's the only thing so. that, not to fade, that's the only thing that I um, am noticing is that because this is such a heavy fingering and Molly's is on the lighter side of a fingering, it it just feels weird when you're, when you're not wearing it. Yeah. It's very weighted on the heel, the toe, and the cuff. It's gorgeous. Um, so that's where you need it. That's what I keep it's thinking. It's like need it. I need yeah. it to be more sturdy there. So I love it. I'm upset. Like, look at those colors. Beyond. Molly, how do you do it? She's magical. Matt, stupid question, Chelsea. Come on. Really? So yeah. I can't stop looking at them. So that's that's my first blueberry waffle sock. So that's another hoe. That's another hoe. You got a lot of so hoes I guess going on. Is it, I guess it kind of is a whip. I don't know. Only if you cast on the next one. I haven't done that yet. Okay, I literally one. just finished weaving in these ends. You got a lot done last week. I did. You well, did. And I still have my kettle whip, too. <gasps> I have not seen that. I, know. I don't have any more whips except my blanket. I'll show it after you show that. You sure? Yes. Okay. That's good. I've been obsessed with my blanket. <sighs> I know. You have You have gotten so much done. Oh, I have a finished object, too. <gasps> you do. Show well, that bag. Long. So that was the bag that Jody was using when she was on her magical river. <gasps> that picture looked like so much fun. I wanted to didn't be there make, right next to her. Didn't it make, like, couldn't you see me in that picture? Yes. <laughs> like, yes. Go, oh, Jody. we are bonded yes. over that picture. Yes. Lazy River, she was knitting in the... The Lazy River. Although it did give my heart, like, a little bit of me a, too. a stop, knowing that there was yarn yeah. floating there with her. But her bag. I know. See, it held up. She said it held up. Look. Oh, I love that bag. Knit to live, live to knit, guys. You know me. He's like, is there a treat in there for me? <laughs> no treats. This for dog you is very treat. unusual. He doesn't really eat treats. He doesn't. He, he doesn't. doesn't. Now, if Isabel was even within any radius, she would hear that and come flying in here. The T word. Mm, yeah. So. So what's in there? My other whip that I have in my Mrs. Brown's bag. Thanks, Jamie. Um, is a featherweight cardigan. Mm. I finally cast it on. And I'm using Vivid Yarn Studio <sighs> yarn. I don't remember the colorway. Um, Maybe if you go. You had it in the right spot. Oh, right there. Yep. Yeah, you had it. Um, I don't remember the colorway, but I'll put it in here. It's gorgeous. Somewhere. It's so different. I agree. Look at you. I am, and the fabric that it's making, I'm so excited about. So you're loving your choice of size of me. Oh, my yep. goodness. I love it. You are going to live in that. I am. Well, especially because, so, ooh, I love how this pulled piece out of it. I do that so many times forgetting that there's a needle dangling. Those aren't that sharp. They're Knitter's Pride. <sighs> knitter's oh. Pride. Are they dreams? Yes. Okay. Size four. Yes. So these are size fours. Knitter's Pride dreams that mom let me borrow. Actually, you know. That's, that's working. That's pretty good. Um... I like them. I'm enjoying knitting with wood. Um, so much money. No, it's okay. I thought you might have been getting tired. Yeah, I was like, um, so size fours, Knitter's Pride. Um, the dreams are their wooden needles. They're fixed, circular wooden needles. I really like them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I enjoy the drag of a wooden needle. Romo, what are you doing? I would want to use Haya Haya's on that. Um, I'm tempted because. There are so many stitches. 
And I Do they get caught? They just bunch up. Mm. So you can only go like 15 stitches at a time and then you and really have to move yeah. on. Um, but that's okay. It's gorgeous. I do love it. So you can kind of see where... Um, I love it. Your fabric is spot on perfect. Perfect. And you know who else is? I think Amber from the Yarn Junkie podcast is also making one. I, saw I feel on like, yeah, I feel like I heard her talk about that. And it's, it's beautiful. top down. It's top down. So right now, this part, the right up here, is I believe it's going to be around. That'll be around my neck. And so you can see where I'm doing the increases. You can see where the sleeve, like the shoulder yeah. starts right it there. It creates like almost a raglan. I think that is a raglan. I don't know what raglan means. It's like, remember when I used to make those rolled sweaters? I made like a hundred million of them for all the nieces. Mm -hmm. It's when this, when it's not a straight, like your, your seam here isn't straight. It, it's kind of starts here. Oh, and okay. goes, I that's, think so, that, so it kind of goes like this. It starts up here and goes like this. So it's a stylistic term. Yeah. I think Gosh. that is. That makes sense. Oh my, you're exhausted. I know. I know. <laughs> It's just been a long weekend. So yeah. yeah, that's what I'm making. This is I haven't gotten very far, um, but the rows are getting longer and longer, so I find I tire out on working on yeah. it. And so actually, this is a good conversation that I wanted to have. Purling, like I said a few minutes ago, I confess that I hate purling. I hate it. I'm not as a thrower. I find it's very disjointed and awkward and. All well, and that's a lot of purling. It's a lot of purling. It's going to end up being even, I mean, it's going to be end up being a lot. Yeah. But, so when I posted that on Instagram, a few people said, have you ever thought about learning how to reverse First knit? knit. I, I don't know how to do it. I I'm I feel like I'm going to look it up you, on YouTube. You need to Google it, yeah. Because people do that. I, th I would be worried about tension. Well, as long Maybe as I'm not. throwing the same. I mean, it would... I don't know. It'll. It's, I'm just so curious to look yeah, it up. Yeah, I'd be curious too. Because I've heard it, a lot about it. Yeah, because if it could make the purling side of this easier in any way, shape, or form, it's like he's pushing himself up with his chin. I don't know how he's not going blind right I now. I don't either. He needs some sunglasses. He needs some shades, buddy. He needs sunglasses. Oh, please. Um. So reverse knitting. I'm gonna give it a go, and we'll report back next week. Cause I'm, I'll be so curious. I am. Like I said, if it makes it easier even a little bit. I'm trying to... Th I can't even process the thought in my head. I'd have to be holding it yeah. to even think about it. But have you discussed the other ball of yarn that's going in there? No. Okay, so this because is... Because I love this piece of it. Yeah. This is what I'm... And this was all mom's idea. Mm. And I am... Well... Well, and mine... I got the idea... From I Mina. think from Mina. I mm -hmm. think Mina did this... If not in this sweater, in another in sweater that yeah. reminded me of it. Oh yep. my gosh, that yarn is gorgeous. So, Hedgehog, Skinny Singles. I don't remember the colorway. It might be Copper Penny or something. Um, but it's good. It complement. It's almost the exact same shade as the really dark orange in this skein. And so, what I'm going to do is, oh, we're almost tough life. Because you were just a little short, possibly. Yardage wise. And this, and you didn't want to buy another whole skein because mm -hmm. it was a lot. It would have been a lot more. It would just been a. For a tiny amount of yarn. Yeah, it was like, I think it was like 100 yards. Or not yeah, even not yards, even. Not like 50 even. Yards. I would even say 20. Yeah. It was a little bit. So I was torn. So then mom found this, and this was while we were at Junior. I don't know if you've mentioned that. Um, we Mom grabbed this out of the shelf, and she was like, what if you did? So for the featherweight cardigan, there's a ribbing from the bottom all the way around the neckline and down um so I remember saying like what if I did that in a different color and then we found this and we were like awesome and then when I went to go cast it on last week we were like what about strut you know we were like what about if you were to build stripes, stripes. into the sweater so I'm going to be doing what did we end up deciding? Like two, like skinny stripes? It all depends on how much yarn you have when you really think about it. You gotta figure that out. I could see, I could listen to us. We'll process this while you're watching. You guys can listen to us. I could see not doing the neck mm -hmm. and just doing Because the that's gonna take a lot. I feel like that might take the whole amount. That's true. And instead, do stripes around the bottom, like say, this wide mm -hmm. 
and it would li it would literally only be around the bottom. Yeah, like say it wouldn't three go all the way up. Mm -hmm. And then on three on the sleeves. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can see that. I can see that. And it's Mina does a lot with striping on sweaters. I I've noticed, it. and I love it. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to do mine that way. I think you should. I kind of want to. Have, do you have yarn picked out? I have my Hitafude, which I think I'm going to rip out. I don't think you've ever shown your Hitafude. I haven't. It's kind of a sin to rip it out because I have a lot done. Yeah. But honestly, I don't think it's really a sweater, a style for me. Mm -hmm. I just was so intrigued by the pattern. It was more about just knitting it. Mm -hmm. And I think I have plenty of yarn. You have a ton. A ton. So I think I'm going to... And that's what, I haven't, it's like a sage green? It's it's a Malabrigo. They're, hmm, it is very sagey. Mm -hmm. I forgot the name of it. Of course. Why would I know the name of it? i got to start paying attention to What's details. What's the name? Got to start paying attention. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. So that's going to be my featherweight stripes. I can't wait until I actually get to that point, so it'll be... I can't sure. wait. I was thinking you were working bottom up. I thought it was. I, I thought it was working bottom up. I don't know how we didn't know that. Everyone makes this. Neither of us have. I know. Yeah, we should have. Oh well. So yeah, and then so I also could show Justin's, but I, I don't know. I think you should. Do you want to show your blanket? Let's show my blanket. Okay. So I have this new way of doing, um, keeping track of my blanket. Again, did I discuss so this here? How I was no longer going to be. Definitely on your periscope. I think we might Pulled have discussed down it with last my, time my too. journaling. No, no, no. I'm not. And I'm, yes, we did. I can't keep track of what all the yarn is. I really do remember. I've been using most of Nutmeg Meg okay. yarns right now, is what mm -hmm. I've been using. Um, and so, how I know what I've done this week um, is I put progress keepers in the ones that I have done. I cannot wait to be done with the podcast. Well, not to be done with the podcast, but when it's over, I get to yeah. take all the progress keepers oh. off mm -hmm. and restart. Start fresh. So this one I did this week. I'm going to leave it back here. The colors are showing up. Awesome. They are back here. Yeah. So this is from the, I do know this is the Cozy Knitter only because I just finished using it. That was one. This was another. And this was mine. Here I'm saying, I can't remember all the names. I know all these. This was a Socks That Rock, which used to be my favorite yarn. And only used to be because you can't really, you have to order it always online. You can't, you can't buy, it, buy it anywhere. And I found so many new indie dyers, but I'm ready to get some Dying because I in. love their yarn. Mm -hmm. And, okay, this I know is from Meg. I just finished this one. Here. The green and gray? Yeah. Which, do you recognize that? I was just going to say, those are Ben's socks. They are Jacob's wedding socks. Oh, they're Jacob. Jacob's oh, it? yeah, because Ben had the green, the dark, or the green and yellow. Limey, or, yeah. yeah. Okay. And this is um, Biscot yarn. Listen to me. I really know what I'm talking about today. It's like it's you just took a magical so pill. so fresh in my mind, because I just finished these, so I did that one. I am working on... Oh my gosh, it's look, it stopped midway. It's fabulous. That is so cool. These are all from Meg. This is a yarn that I would love to get my hands on. I don't even know if she's dying anymore. It's Kirby Werby. Kirby Werby. Kirby Werby. I who even, I love Kirby Werby. I can't even say I know what that is. Well, she's a friend of Diane of the Suburban Stitcher. She used oh. to every once in a while be on her podcast oh. quite a while ago. That's a Kirby Werby. Super excited. I like this one a lot. Okay. This is one of my hedgehog fibers. That was your um, Canadian sock pattern cow. Canadian sock pattern cow. And this was from Meg, and I don't remember it. The reddish one? Yeah. This is from Chelsea. These are the socks that Benny had on. And this is from Meg. I think... This one might not be from Meg. I can't remember that one. It's so really pretty. I believe I have eight new squares. Gosh. So there's one, two, three, four, five. You have been flying. Six. Seven. Seven. I'm having a ball. I am. That's what I'm going to pick up after we're done podcasting. I just love every second I spend on this oh, blanket. Oh, no. Oh, dear. It happened again. What does that not mean? I don't know. Oh, we're back. 
We don't hey know guys. what that meant. We hope it's recording. Um, I am just enjoying, I'm trying to find where my needle is that I'm working on so I don't. Um, it's like, wait, here's the yarn. Is it in your hand? Oh, right here. Oh. Just don't want them to fall off. So anyways, I am enjoying every minute and it's kind of in this, in this quest to be neater in my office. Mm. And neater isn't the word. I, I like to have empty spaces, like my desk. I like to be cleared off. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm kind of obsessed with finishing using the minis that have been sent to me. Mm -hmm. So that's like I thought, I'm going to use all of Meg's. I'm going to be done with those. It kills me because they were beautiful to look at. But now they're beautiful to look at in your blanket. Yes. And I've really been working on my big blanket because her skeins tended to be bigger. Okay. And I thought it's kind of wasteful to use them on my little blanket because then I have a little left. Use them up. So I want to get the most out of them. And I have plenty of smaller ones for my smaller blanket. I love it. I love it. Yes. And setting goals like that, I feel like, almost helps you knit faster because you have a clear vision of exactly <sighs> what you want to accomplish. Yes. And these squares do take longer. They're 60 stitches. My other is only 40. They take longer. But once I hit... The point where there are 40 stitches, mm -hmm. that first little grouping, mm -hmm. then they fly. Okay. I can then see that. Then they fly. Because the 20 stitches fly for me. Yeah. I want to say almost an hour. A block. A block. I can see that. Which, that's a good chunk of time. Yeah. I love it. I can't stop. I'm using sock rockets. I'm using 16 inches. Mm -hmm. I love them. I, I feel like I want to switch over to sock rockets for mine because right now I'm using carbons. Oh yeah, and the I, which I I like carbons generally, but the join is starting to get funky, mm -hmm. and it's just getting annoying. Mm -hmm. it's tough to. And we've talked about it. The smaller sizes in carbons that happens. The quality is great. The quality is not great. We haven't found that. Yeah. But the bigger sizes, yes. Yeah. Like yes. Shawl I may sizes. have another number two. You'll have to look. Okay. I think I may have one downstairs Do too. You? But I love them for the for this, and I treated myself to a good pair. of of needles for this blanket. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt. You knit on it so much. Yes, I really, I think I have two pairs and I almost started a second block because I was getting a little tired. And I thought, Sue, you're ridiculous. Wait, what do you mean a second? Like, so I'd have two going at once two on one blanket. Large. No, 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 on the same blanket. Like, oh, I think I'll attach. Oh, I don't think you're ridiculous. I would absolutely do that. <laughs> don't encourage me. Susan, you could absolutely do that. that. Okay, so shouldn't I give them a nice view of, of the whole, here, want <gasps> me to hold the other half? Yeah, hold the other yeah. half. Get to a good spot. That's still on the needle, sadly. Okay, I'll, I'll just make sure. It's huge. You got, Well, it's really not. It's probably half as wide is, as I want If you were to look at mine, you'd be like, it's huge. But this happened really fast. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's the laddering that mm -hmm. makes it grow. Yeah. And I'm not a complete ladder. Like, I need one there. I might do that one next. Yeah. I love this. It's Look at it on camera. It is I stunning. Know. It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. You're going to be curled up under this I by the fireplace wait. next winter. I know. I love. Well, I think also my push right now is the warm weather is coming, and this is not going to be manageable yeah. to work on. Yeah. So I'm going to work on my individual month blocks then. That's a good idea. I love it. I wonder, has anybody ever taken one of these blankets and backed it with fleece? <gasps> I want to say there's a chance. Just because I, I feel like it would help preserve... Preserve it a little bit more. I want to say, and I could be wrong, and I'm sorry, Sarah, if I'm wrong. Um, socks. Sarah's loves wool socks. Oh, oh yeah. Love sock wool. Love sock wool. So Sarah, sorry, Sarah. Sarah, 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 Sarah I love Sarah. Yeah, so do I. I, I want to say before. she might have, or has talked about it. It is not an original thought. I know that. I've heard it, and I've thought about it. The problem is this is going to be... So at cool. least queen size. Yeah. So that would be hard. I think that would be hard to do. You know who you should ask? Barb. Barb. I bet Barb, Barb watches. Hi, yeah. Barb. Hi, Barb. Barb, let us We're know. We're going to come to you think. for your expertise. She's our expert. I just really feel like, because you know how we have other, and this is a little bit different. And it's going to be heavy. Yeah. Well, and, but there are no holes in this, but I know like other afghans that I've had Whoa. in the past. Yeah. Like I'll it's either hard. get my fingers stuck in there or my toes will end up through it. And I know that this is, wouldn't happen with this, but. But the weight might pull on some of these, yeah, which I, if, you, if you look, I have not sewed in 
one end and someone more than someone is screaming you know you can you can knit those in as you go i know i don't but that's okay we we are going to be able to podcast under this together i can't wait it's so huge when i come to visit next winter this and we're sitting we here we're under. gonna have this over our lap it won't be done by then let's yes, be will. honest yes it will I wish it would be a summer. I feel like we've been going on and on about the blanket. we got to keep going. It's beautiful. Grandma's going to be here for dinner. Oh, shoot. Yeah. So. Oh, we have a little bit of time. Do we? Okay, good. It's 10 of 1. Has Dad gotten back yet from his bike ride? I don't know. I think he went really, really far. Yeah, it seems like it. I think it's still going to go. He's like a cat laying in a sunbeam, right? Mm -hmm. He's in heaven. Say, I'm in heaven, Grandma. Um, so should we do FOs? Cause you have an FO. Did you have one more? I felt like you had Oh, one. I have, I feel like maybe next time just okay. cause we're running All out right. of time. All right. Although I, I do want to show, I purchased Justin his first ever project bag oh, because he's an is. official knitter now. He's, he's, he's so official. He's so official. So he's I'm really proud about that as I was when you started yeah. knitting. I feel like he's very good at picking up on, because we talk about knitting so much like terminology and podcasts in he knows so terminology much. like he'll come to me and say i don't know like are those addy turbo sock rockets yeah like, like he knows all of the terms knows. and like the products and the podcasters names i quiz him he'll be like give me another one i know it <laughs> he is give me he's another so one. funny yeah and he looks so happy when he's knitting he i truly think he loves it i think it's really good for him it makes my heart so happy Makes mine happier. Yeah. Makes me a little envious. I know. Like, can you imagine? Dad would never do that. No. Never think so. We'll let him ride a bike and I'll knit. We'll let that happen. We don't want to both be spending money on yarn. It leaves more for me. It's true. you got to share now. See, okay, somebody said that on Instagram, but you know what? It also means that he has to share. Once he starts building a stash. Yeah, that's going to be bad. If I have to share, he has to share. Yeah. Just saying. Will he always buy manly colors, though? Like... Probably, because he's going to be knitting. For, he's already knitting for you. He's already, like, you grumble a lot when you knit for him. I know. <laughs> but not the first pair, remember? Not the my, first pair. So not I, the first pair. The first grumble pair. after this. Yes. The first pair of socks that I ever made was for him, and now the first pair of socks that he's ever made is for me, which I think is so cute. So cute. I love him. So I got this from um, Haverland, who is Carol on um, Etsy. Uh, hi, Carol. And Instagram as well. Um and she has great yarn. I, I've ordered You've it in the past. gotten a lot from her. You like her a lot. Her I feel like great. I have a skein in my stash that you bought me. You very well might. Maybe. I'm not sure. No, I think I used it. It was purple. Could have been. I don't know. Where did it go? I don't know. But so this is the bag. It is Harry Potter, like of I mentioned. Course. Of course. Because he's obsessed. This I didn't know she made bags. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're great. She actually, oh, she had these awesome zombie bags, I think, <gasps> last Halloween. I know, and I wanted to buy one, and they, I just kept forgetting to, like, go and actually buy it. Um, but she does make bags. This is, it's a great bag. Um, it's a great size. Let's see. It has a detachable little handle here for it's him. It's super cool. You know what it's super cool for? Hmm. Not yarn related. A Kindle. Or totally. Or Mini. Totally. Yeah, oh it, could, it could definitely be a little accessory. I feel like it's, like perfect for that mm -hmm. because it's like it's almost like it's boxed it's like a boxed bag kind of so it's um I love so it. it can sit on its own I told him it, you know you can always take this off if you feel like you're it's too girly to have it around your wrist but he yeah. hasn't taken it off he yet. doesn't have a problem with that kind of stuff and then his knitting is right oh his damn son is right here um I'll talk about his knitting next time just because we don't have a ton of time left and I really want to he may want to why is she looking at this like, Emma, he wants to talk. He's like talking to me right now. So what? You and have very bad breath. And then, <laughs> really bad breath. And then when this got delivered, um, Carol also included uh, sets of minis for me and mom, which was so Carol. sweet. These are the next ones I'm going to work on. Me too. Well, this is the whole reason that I want to. And she made it. She wrote us this lovely note, and it was so sweet. And look at these minis. Let's see if we can get this. Oh my look gosh. At that. The hardest part good? is, I don't know, you pick one. I don't know, you take one. I know. Take the one you want. No, you take the one you want. Not. Since my bag's open anyway. Also, um, update on the... 
It goes off every single podcast, and I oh. never hear it. I'm so glad you heard it. I love it. I'm like, there it is again. <gasps> um, update on the crinkling. Apparently, when we posted, or I had mentioned that it was the spe- the headphones that bothered people. Apparently, nobody's bothered by it. So I don't we know love who started crinkle. apologizing for the crinkling. Somebody but did over a it. long time ago. And it just caught on my And I head. always thought, when I was hearing it, I would look at these yarns, go like, and these are all Carol's yarns. So she was saying that she ends up with a lot of... Um, They're all her yarns. I forgot that piece. Yeah. I'm putting... Yours are next. Yeah. Like, this is going to be... We're going to sit down and do this tonight. This is tonight. So... So this means I could have two, four, six... There's like 10 or 12... 10 yeah. or 11 here. There's a ton. Oh, my gosh. These are my next weeks. Aren't they awesome? Stay tuned. I've got to stop working on it. I have other no. things to work on. Mm-mm. 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 So Carol, thank you so 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 thank so much. You, it was Carol. so generous of you. Oh, I totally forgot they were all her yarns. her yarns. Yeah, which makes me so excited. And I'm also very stumped. I know I had a skein and it was purple. These you gave it to me. I don't know. I've got to find it. Gotta find okay. It. Um, and the, the uh, one more thing we got sent in the mail um, <gasps> yes. from Amber, who is a yarn hoarder on Instagram. She's the and, best. Yeah, we've shown these before, and we mentioned that we wanted some more, and she sent them to us. You're the best. Yeah, thank you so much. I love them. They're awesome, and I've, I've used them a handful of times now. They're great. I write out instructions or, like, little jokes. or You put one on Benny's, didn't you? I put one on Benny's. I said, warning, do not attempt to watch these. Promptly Ever. deliver them to your sister, and she will take care of it. Our son is really changing. I know. Uh, we're Where is that done. coming from? I think it's up at those top windows. Oh, yeah. Um, but so we've also gotten a lot of questions about where you can buy these. These can't be purchased. So Amber's husband, I believe runs a printing company. Um, so it's a, a, da- a downloadable PDF. So I believe that she just downloaded the PDF and then had her husband print them and cut them. So they're so great. Yeah. They're I wonderful. I cannot wait to put them around. I have a few pairs of socks. Mm-hmm. They're great. It's just like, it's, it, it's those finishing touches that you always say we need to get better at. And Which Amber I'm helped terrible us. terrible at. Thank you for helping us. Yeah, thank you, Amber. They're great. They're really, really great. I feel like the lighting is hideous. Should it's I try really to? Bad right now. I'm going to go put out those blinds. I feel like those two right there might be helpful. Okay. I'll be back. I'm going to try. So, yeah, you guys should look up the PDF. It's great. Um, It's just like a nice finishing touch. Oh, that did help a little bit, Mom. Yeah. We still have the beam coming through, but at least it's not going through those panels. Sorry, guys. Lighting issues are huge. Yeah. Lighting is tough. Look at my yarn. It's all just entangled, strewn, strewn, strewn about. about. Oh. Okay, let's keep going because we're getting close. Uh-oh. So, should I show my stitching? Mm. Let me show you my... more yarn? Mm-mm-mm. I'm just going to show. You no, do. I do. You do. Oh, my gosh. We forgot this last week. Excuse me. Justin's Aunt Gina and Uncle Chris have been traveling around because his uncle is a performer, so he does shows all over the world. Um, I can't stand how bright he is right now. He's like this glowing He's dog. He's the yarn angel. <laughs> oh. Oh. Monkey. Oh. Monkey. <laughs> Say I'm the worst did. <laughs> Here he is. I know the ghost did. Okay, show Auntie Gina. So they were in Tasmania and she was so lovely and found yarn and bought me two two skeins. It is so, oh my gosh. Just to think of you while they were there. Mm-hmm. And not only that, this is hand spun. It's hand spun. So I have gorgeous. Two skeins? Yeah. Look at how beautiful it is. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. And it's a heavy weight. Mm-hmm. Merino silk. Mm-hmm. So wow. I need to think of a project. Ninety-two grams. Yep. It's beautiful. It looks like a worsted. It's a it's a light worsted. I could see like a cowl. I could see a cowl or a scarf or something dreamy. I just think it would be the lighting is horrible as we mm-hmm. think it is I think right so. now. It's, see, it's coming through up there. Oh my gosh! What if we move it a little closer? The computer. I don't think it'll matter because the sun's still going to hit us yeah, in the same spot right. regardless. Okay. We're just going to keep it moving. We're plowing through. So, thank you, Auntie Gina and Uncle Chris. Oh, what a lovely... So special and... It is because when you knit with that and you make something for yourself with that, mm-hmm. you're, it's just so... There's nothing like that. I know. There really isn't. 
ghosty dog. I'm definitely thinking cowl, though. I think cowl, too. Gorgeous cowl. You've got enough there to make, like, a cabled cowl. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Cabled cowl. I'm really excited. I could even see that gap-tastic cowl. I could. I have a hard time wrapping Well. It's super tedious. I think you would hate making it. It looks super tedious. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. I yeah. love it. But uh, Knit one, pearl one, knit one, pearl one. Yeah, I kind of want to make it not a drapey cowl. I want to make it a really, like, close to your neck, chunky, chunky cable. Yeah. But anyway. Thank yeah. you, Auntie Gina. I love it, love it, love it. So sweet. So sweet. So sweet. Um, And do, should I show my FO? Yes. Oh, I didn't show my FO. Show your FO. Totally forgot. I'm gonna eat some pretzel. Cozy knitter. Cozy knitter. Christina. Mm. Oh my gosh, Christina! You know you've you've been on Periscope when I show them. They are fantastic. If you guys haven't used her yarn, go scoop some up. Yeah, I would tell you the colorway, but nope, I don't know it. We don't know. <laughs> we'll think of it. Gotta get better at this. We will got to. Okay, that's my FO. I have to weave in all the ends. And because it is heels, heels cuffs, cuffs, and cuffs, I cannot say that in heels, sequence. Heels, and cuffs. I toes cannot and cuffs. say it in sequence. Do you want to get down? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is horrible. Yeah. Do you think it's horrible? It's pretty bad. Yeah, I don't know how to change it. I'm just going to keep going. Okay. So that's it. Show yours. My FO is a baby hat. Oh. I can't really do this for Here. you. Want to go see your Grammy? Um, so I made a baby hat, and I really like it. Oh, oh my god, gosh. this lighting is it's awful. awful. There. Let's let's just go with that. It's perfect. It's made what out of Malabrigo um, worsted. I don't know. I don't remember the colorway. <laughs> um, we're going down. You're the worst. Did did. Come um, back. Oh, God. We might have to cut all of this. <laughs> How can we address this lighting? It's really know. bad. It's really bad. Let's stop it. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. We're back. Super full. Yeah. So we ended up deciding to take a little intermission because the lighting was really funky and it was getting, we were cutting it close to when Graham was getting here for dinner. So we took an intermission. We've never done that. It's quite odd feeling. It's a little strange. A lot of people do it. It's like we've lost our momentum. Yes. A little bit. But we're going to pick it right back up. Yeah. Dinner was delicious. Yeah. We had spaghetti and meatballs, as you already know. And, and it was garlic bread. And garlic bread was everything. The garlic bread looks so good. It was really I'm good. Try I'm trying really hard not to have bread. Mm, I'm not trying. I have to say, I can. I feel it in my hands. Isn't oh, that weird? Like the swelling. Pool. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do. So I'm I'm feeling yeah. Anyways, enough of that. Delicious dinner. I've got a new cup of tea. I have water. Super um, thirsty. Yeah. And here we are. So I believe we left you um with mom's socks. socks. Yes. Um and I was going to show you my an FO of mine, and now I'm knitting on a square in my blanket. Like you I talk about it. Like I said, I was going to be doing. Yeah. So I've already started my evening knitting. So this is the little baby hat that I decided to make. Um, there are a few babies being born around, so I just wanted to have mm -hmm. a gift on hand. Um, I feel like you should make piles of these. I d well, I also want to make an adult size because it has yeah. to be really cute. It's called the Declan hat. It is gorgeous. I do love it. I love the yarn, too. Malabrigo. Did we end up finding the tag? Yes, it's right here. Uh, emerald blue is the colorway. And it's just Malabrigo worsted. Yeah. So it's not, it's it, it's worsted. It's not like they're Rios, which is a worsted super wash, I believe. Yeah, I think this, this is. This is so. Just the worst. Cozy. If you could feel this. It's, it's like. pure merino wool. It's like squishy. It is. It's delicious. You? I will go get more skeins of it. And, and, and the pooling. Yeah. <gasps> this was a gift from my good friend Tara. She got me two skeins of this for Christmas. And actually, I'm going to end up using the other skein for my stuffy, for my stuffy alarm, oh. which I haven't started yet because I am so... Don't let us forget to tell you about it. I'm not it. there yet. We'll give you guys an update on the stuffy alarm. Can I tell you how much, and you've said this already, Grace, mm -hmm. of the... Which podcast? Babbling? Grace. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, Of the babbling... 
Tra I think I wrote it down. Babbling, traveling, yarn. Babbling. Babbles, traveling, yarn. Babbles, traveling, yarn. Yes. She's Tara. Oh, so much. She's Tara. Yeah, Grace, you remind me of one of my very oh, best friends. Oh, my gosh. I just, She's I love you both so She's so interesting, mm -hmm. you guys. Her travels. Mm -hmm. I know. They make you just wish you could walk away from your life and just like. How do, how do people do that? Like travel. even I think of Tara, like how do you make that happen? You want it bad enough. I guess. You want it bad enough. She makes me want to travel. And you know me, I'm a homebody. Yeah. I know, so it's saying I a lot. I can't put this down. Isn't it so, I, the pooling, I can't even stand it. It looks like crystal clear water to me. And you, this, I mean, it's not a hard hat. No. But it's a not pooling. a simple hat. And you, this flew off that your needles. That was one night. Flew off your needles. Yeah. So I really enjoyed I knitting it. that. And I knit that with Addie Rockets. Sock Rockets. Mm -hmm. Size nine. Really? Maybe you have not. sock rockets that are that long? Yeah. Because they are, they were 16 inches, too. Because yep. you, you did it. In I think I bought it specifically when we were going to tackle the um, the brioche hat. <gasps> You're right. And we're going to do that. We will eventually do that. We will. But at the time, we were not. We had never brioched, and it ended poorly. Now tell me. I already, I'm so stressed about brioche. I know. We can't because think about I it. mastered it and now I feel like. No, you still have it. I must. You I, definitely I've got still to have just it. work on something. Yes. Um, did you continue on the 16th inch or did you go down to double points? Double points. You did. Yep. I was going to say and that would be really hard to do. The double points I used were um, Knitter's Pride Marbles. Oh, which Great. I love. They were because, amazing. especially for something like that, again, mm -hmm. they're that little bit pliable. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. So that's my that's my one finish on the track. It's a good one. It is a good one. I love it. It's a I good can't one. wait to look at it. It looks like water. It's gorgeous. I do love it. Should we talk about the stuffy along before I go into the stitching? Sure. Okay, go ahead. So everybody, you are stuffying like champs. Oh, like champs. Oh 52, my god. Fifty two last I checked. Finished objects. Finished objects. objects. They are amazing all yeah gorgeous mm -hmm. every single post and i Stunning. looked at every single one i should have liked liked like so you realize and i'm so bad we'll at start doing that, that. yeah we'll, we'll look at everything. but i did i looked at every single one and oh my gosh you guys everyone are I wanna killing do. it yeah the octopuses oh, oh my gosh though i want to make one of those so badly the i also did you see candace's whale yes love it so many like she's and, the best yeah i love candace um also, thank you for like tagging us on Instagram because even yes. if we don't, I try to respond every time. But if I'm in the middle of something and um and the notification pops up and I don't have time to answer, sometimes I forget. But keep tagging us because we love seeing them. And um, well, the other night I went in under the hashtag mm -hmm. and I showed Dad. I was like, "Look at all the people doing the stuffies. They're stuffing with he us. It was super exciting, but I had no idea what I was talking about. Well, that's okay though. It's At okay. least he was super excited. He about was it. super excited for us. So. Um, again, the, the end date is May 1st, so there's plenty of time. Cast on a stuffy. I haven't even started mine yet, and I, I fully plan on making one, so. And I still have a headless giraffe. I know, that poor thing. Poor thing. I can't I see any. do this. I get to this point and go, yeah, I'll get back to it. Yeah, I'll finish it. I like still want to do the little elephants. I think you have to finish your head, your headless giraffe before you do the elephants. I don't want to. We'll see. Okay, maybe not. Because <laughs> I'm going to use this one. I love that I was stuffed. <gasps> oh. I can't even stand. And this is enough for like a bunch of them, I bet. Oh my god, yeah. We're going to have elephants everywhere. You should be making a monster out of that. Should, oh, I love the elephants. I know. I want to make an elephant and an octopus. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah. I love this yarn. I shouldn't have held it. Darn it. You're going to cast it on tonight? No, I'm not because it has to be wound and I'm the worst. Yeah. I hate winding Me yarn, too. you guys. Me too. Me too. So... And um, I'm going to put the hashtag up here so you guys can see it. Um, keep using it if you think of it. That'd be cool. And if you don't and we see it, we'll, I, we'll just add it in the comments so that you guys are grouped in. And I love how excited everyone is from it because it was just a whim for us. I know. And the, like people are like, hey, I would never have made one, but this made me want to make one. And that yeah. that's kind of the whole reason. like To do no one. To do, yeah. It's kind of like to get... It's people to do things yeah. they wouldn't normally do, yeah. or, you know. Step oh, out of your comfort zone. Okay, guess what? what? 
Candace and Lara are doing a knit along. They're doing. Did you see what it was? I know it sucks, but then so I was watching uh, Lara's most recent podcast this morning, and I had to stop because everyone was waking mm -hmm. up. My what favorite sock designer, Cookie A. Oh, I did know that. I did. So I'm you so... have got to do the monkey socks. I will. Yeah, that's from our new new the line. stripes. Yeah. Whatever. I have stripes upon stripes. <laughs> so yes. Oh, there's Dad. Dad is waving. <laughs> He was so excited. He's dying to get into this I podcast. I know. We, we should to... invite him someday. One of these days, we should do a double date podcast. <gasps> How, How fun would that be? How fun would that be? I bet Justin would be more comfortable. If yeah, if Dad was here. That might happen. We're going to make it happen before you leave. Before I leave. Before you yeah. go. Okay. Oh, Cookie A. Sock Knit Along. Yeah. I have all her books. I've oh, been see, that's good. See, I don't know if I'm sold on a monkey or if I want to look at her others. I have to say. Monkeys your favorite? Monkeys are the easiest. Oh. I would say. You know, when Laura was talking about it, she did indicate that her that Cookie A's She's very patterns wordy. Are complicated. I love her patterns. I can't even say they're complicated. They're wordy and I get lost my personality gets lost in the words. Okay. Um so monkey. I'm a I very simple directions person. Like Yeah, just just to the point. Label the row and tell me what I should yeah, do. Yeah, to the point. Not so much. I haven't witnessed that with her. Having okay. said that, her patterns are probably my favorites okay. out there for socks. Okay. They're fantastic. I've made a bunch. And I believe Candace is going to call it the cookie jar along. Oh, you got that, girl. Yes. So good. So good. So, oh, darn it. I'm so excited. <sighs> I think I've decided sock knit alongs are my favorite because I know they're achievable achievable and we love socks oh my gosh and we doesn't? love knitting socks well laura said that she's like i'm gonna host this even after saying i'm not gonna host i it. know but they both said the same thing yeah, because they it both sucks. said that and it socks and i think candace is the same way but they i know they both always have socks on their needles so yeah, why the heck why not? not why not and and really i feel like cookie a was huge and not that she isn't i think candace said the same thing it's not that she's not huge anymore. It's mm -hmm. there's so many sock designers now. Yeah, yeah. And let's say if there's a lot of free sock patterns. Yeah. Um, she's got free ones, but she's also got pay for ones. And I, I don't know. For me, I know even I've kind of put her aside. Well, it, unintentionally. Yeah, yeah. And it made me remember how much I love her socks. Next week, we'll pull the books down. Cool. I meant to do that today because okay. there are some terrific Terrific patterns, and her mm. books are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. So she was an obsession for me. Awesome. I tried but to be a test knitter for her once. She didn't. She didn't go for well, it. Well, huh? of course she wouldn't, because I don't have Ravelry pages. I have nothing documenting I'm capable of knitting. <laughs> Good and faith. I still don't. I still don't. I'm the worst. Well, Dead. At least there's podcasts. Whatever. Now. We knit you Whatever. Guys. It wasn't my time. Okay. So now. I have become obsessed with stitching again, so much to the point of I'm watching stitching podcasts. Oh, yeah. What was the one that you found? That you I heard? don't know, because I'm kind of playing at them. I'm, okay. I'm watching 10 minutes to see how I like, see their projects. There was one that I like so far, and I've already forgotten her name, but they're also called Floss Tubes. What? Floss Tube number 10. Like, this would be Floss Tube number 16, but they're... I, I don't understand it. Like, so I'm probably saying it totally wrong. What are floss tubes of? And like, I think they're the name for podcasts. I think like, the stitchers have. But like, so for, I know some of the knitting podcasts, it's like skein one, skein right. two. So is a floss tube an actual thing in the oh, stitching world? Oh, I should know that. I don't know. No, I'm okay. really not that knowledgeable of anything just today. Let's just face it. You know what? It's no just, need. No need yeah. to. And, but it's not only one person doing it. It's, it's. Quite it's a few of the them, board. not yep. across the board, but so being new to it all, it's so funny because being new to something like people are brand new to podcasts. This could be someone's first podcast they've know. ever watched, which how weird would that be? But I feel like I really don't understand the cross stitch podcast totally. world yet, totally. which I think about that for knitting how like it's just so common. You well, know? it's it's the culture that we've become accustomed to, right? And I'm a little sure. confused by the cross-stitch podcast world. 
well, but we I like it. it out. I like it, and it's exciting. And I and I have to say, I'm being drawn back to designing. I know it. I know you it. Do. Which I might. Who knows? But in the meantime, I'm thoroughly enjoying stitching again. And I did not stitch pictures when I was designing. I was not a picture stitcher. No. I was a counted. It's called. What I did was more counted thread embroidery or counted thread. Just count. I called it counted thread. Period. Oh. Where you did the pulled work and the cut work and the bead work. I didn't do a lot with beads. No. I didn't do a lot with beads, but I did a lot of the fillet. Uh, it it looks like fillet crochet. I don't even know what fillet crochet is. It's those things that Grandma Philip used to make for the backs of the chairs. They oh. Had pictures. Oh, yeah. And now I've totally lost the terminology for that in cross stitch. This is so bad. Is it lassis? I don't know. I have not a clue. I don't know. It's really, I've been out of that world for, how old has Ben? 23? No. For 13 years. No, he's... He's 24. 24. For 14 years I've been out of that world, which is a long time. It's a long time. Um, however, I still love that world. I still... I love it. So anyways, I decided to because little Miss Chelsea's moving and she's going to need constant memories of her mother of everywhere she goes mm -hmm. in her apartment. Poor That's Justin true. will be like, he'll get it. There she is again. I thought we left her. <laughs> Your mother is watching us. <laughs> <laughs> he'll this be like covering him over. <laughs> no, he won't. No, he won't. He will miss you so much. Okay. He's going to miss all his family. Yes. Okay. Look at this. So this is Ugh, adorable. So I, I am having it. so much fun with it. I'm just using the regular old DMC floss. When I was designing, I used a lot of the hand-dyed um, floss. Oh, my gosh. Because people would send them to us because they wanted me to use them. So hand-dyed floss, is that essentially the same thing? As, as... hand-dyed yarn. Yeah, it's like indie dyers for floss. But then, I hope they still call it floss. Holy cow, I'm so out of this world. Thread. But anyway, thread... Anyway, yeah, you, you know what we're talking. But about. I use like the Gentle Arts threads. They were they were friends of mine. So anytime new colors came out, you I would get packages in the mail because they wanted you to use their colors in your new design. In your new design, For because sure. then they, when people go to make it, they use all their colors. So I don't need to explain that all to you. But anyways, this is just regular old DMC. It's a Mary Engelbright pattern, Who which we love, we, uh, love and. Seashore Sharon made me remember how much I, I love Mary Engelbright because I know she's a huge fan. So it's a welcome sign. Isn't welcome. It so so when I walk in, I'll feel welcome. Welcome. I will anyways. Okay. Do you have so a picture, picture of the now. final design? Yes. Because I went out, I just went totally off screen, and I bought this adorable Engelbright cross-stitch book. Which is so beautiful. So fun. Oh yeah. my gosh, if you saw... I'm going to go through some of the patterns I've been working on over there. Oh, yeah. <sighs> There's a lot. Mirabilia was a huge, gorgeous designer. I have a Santa Claus over there that will take me a lifetime. I used to steal mom's thread and make friendship bracelets. Yeah. Because I always, I had a ton Gee. of thread. Oh, and you really did have the coolest colors. Can they see it? I can't yeah. see. Yeah. So that's what I'm making. It's that one right there. Yes. So she's got like that part done, and I think a little bit of that too. So much fun. I love it. So much fun. I am obsessed. A little hard on my eyes, I have well, to say. Uh, I do not stitch at night. I'm aging myself right now. Well, it is tough though, it's especially hard. in this world where we're always looking at computer screens. We're yes. always straining our eyes. My eyes burn. The other day I stitched a lot, and by the time I stopped, my eyes were burning. Yeah. And I've I been known that. to wear double glasses. So I wear my glasses and then a pair of Dave's magnifiers right there. It's pretty cute. It's funny. And I look up <laughs> and I forget I have them on and someone walks in the room and it's like, whoa, bad, so bad. So anyways, you, you stitch yourself there. Get your stitching out. I'm going to. I am I uh, have it on my priorities. It's time for cross stitch to come back full force. Mm -hmm. And I usually come into an industry as it's going down just because it's very cyclical. I'm getting on the bandwagon. Do it. I'm not going to be late Start to this party. Nope. Right? You're right on time. I'm on time. Probably not really. Okay, so I can't. Did I show these ever? The stockings? I don't think I have. I don't think so. So what I do for wedding gifts, and this this is a very late wedding gift. 
Yeah. I don't. Well, Kathy may watch. If you're watching, Kathy, oh my God, I'd be thrilled. Is that oh, too much light? light? No, it's perfect. Is that good? Okay. Oh, I was like, where did you get that from? I forget the switch is over I there. Um, so, very good friend of mine's daughter got married on the 4th of July. It which was looked like a fabulous wedding. wedding. And yeah. it was the wedding before your wedding. Yes. So as much as I was, I was so much fun, I was a nervous wreck. Because I thought, this so is me, and we have so much to do still. Yeah. It wasn't true. We were fine. So anyways, the lovely Brian married the lovely Katie. Aren't they so cute? Ah! Shepherd's Bush. This is what I do for wedding gifts. I make stockings. They're all different. Mm -hmm. I've made a few... The same, but there's so many options. Oh, I should have I should have grabbed one to even. No, I always forget. So these are nowhere near done. The stitching is done. Then the lovely Barb, hi Barb, because I know she watches, takes them and finishes. I'm getting one more thing as I'm off camera here, and finishes them for me. But first she presses them. We have this down to a science oh, now. Oh, okay. First she presses them, and then I put all of the charms on. So cute. So each stocking has a charm pack. So do you choose where the charms go? or nope, are there they tell you. Okay. There's not a whole lot of creativity in this for me. It could be mm. because there are so many stockings to pick from. You could do a header from one, a body from oh. another. A, but you know what? They're perfect as they are. Oh, yeah. They're perfect. I don't need to play with that. So these will go on. So... When these get on, yeah. if we're mid almost to a podcast, so you don't have to get them right back to Barb, which I probably won't. I will show you with charms on. And then I will show you Finished completed. object. And I can say they are drop dead the most amazing gift mm -hmm. because I honestly mean this. The finishing is what does it all. Mm -hmm. It really does. It, it just, boom. Mm -hmm. They're perfect. Yeah, and she is so good at what she does. Yeah. We love you, Barb. You know that. I love you, Barb. It's hysterical that she watches. I love so does it. Maureen, and so does Bob. Hey, Maureen and Bob. Bob. Sometimes Bob watches. That is so cool. Hey, guys. I'm sure Greg does. You know? Sure, he'll watch this part, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll say hi just in case you are watching, Greg. Okay. So. Is that... I'm trying to think of if I we know. have anything else. I don't think we do. Um... All I know is that we have a lot of knitting that we want to do tonight. We have a lot of knitting we want to do tonight. And yeah. let's just say it. What are we saying? The, it's the Walking Dead that's on tonight. Fear, Fear of, the Walking Dead? of the Walking Dead starts tonight. Oh, doesn't Desert Vista Dye Works do Cast on the At, Dead? Or something like that? Maybe, maybe it isn't. I think it's more for probably Fear. No, The Walking Dead. I don't know. Maybe I, kept, not. I saw posts last week mm -hmm. saying, like, get ready to cast on okay. your dead or something I like do. that. Which makes me bummed out because I totally didn't buy any yarn to cast. Like, and their yarn is fabulous. I know. I want all their yarn. I want to do their year-long sock a month club. Oh. I want to do it. I'm going to start gearing up for next year. Mm -hmm. Like, start collecting yarn. That's smart. Yeah. I still might buy a skein of yarn because if the season's just starting now, if I get it within a week or a week and a half, I'll just cast it on a week later. I'm going to cast on the dead. I'm going to. Okay. Let's just talk for a minute okay. about The Walking Dead. Okay. Oh, but you can't. I'm not going to give anything away. Okay. I'm so not caught up on this season. I'm just, I am still reeling. And it's not, when you see it, you'll go, oh. Well, you were saying it wasn't even the zombies that was bothering oh, you. It's the human versus human the aspect. The human, it is. The last one is so awful. Oh I God. really, it's going to take me the entire break. Usually it ends and I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait till it starts again. Oh no. You're ready oh no. to have a break. I need such a break yeah. and I am not 100% sure I will start again. Really? It's just the violence is unreal yeah i imagine i mean beyond disturbing it's boring see so this is my fear okay. and you and you don't have to say anything because i don't think anything does happen my fear is there is a baby involved 
the episode where something happens to that baby is where I will have to wash my hands of it. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you. But I just... No matter, no matter what, you are going to be so disturbed. <sighs> oh, you guys. I know you can all feel my pain. I'm sorry for anyone who doesn't watch The Walking Dead. I know. But, but you know what? Uh, it needs to be had. <laughs> my periscope... Amelia, Amelia, if you're watching, Amelia shuts me down the minute I start talking about The Walking Dead. She's like, Sue, change the subject. Get back to knitting. Wait, is it because she doesn't, she's afraid of the show or she just is not interested at all? I think it's a combination. She doesn't want to hear it. And I don't blame you, but I'm sorry. I have a captive audience. (laughs) All of this yarn is listening intensely. Yes. However, Outlander started. You never watched that, did you? Mm. Again, I found parts of that last season beyond disturbing. I liked it, the first episode. Uh, yeah, that's not one I've ever got. I've, I've I've heard of it over and over again because I think there's a very solid group in the knitting community yes, that like it. Yes, huge. I honestly think that Justin would really like it. Well, he was going to try and read the books, but they were way too long for oh, him. He couldn't yeah, wrap that's his mind right. around it. I gave him the first one. I have, he could listen to it. I think he would like that yeah, more. Yeah, I have it he can listen to I if he can figure out how to do that. We're kind of TV addicts. I'm back watching the Gilmore Girls because it's coming out, and Suki is coming back. She is. Oh, (sighs) Melissa McCarthy, we love you. Oh, my gosh. Um, I just started watching the Gilmore Girls for the very first time in my entire life two weekends ago. I begged her to watch it. I know. And I've seen episodes here and there. It's Yeah, it's not like I've never seen the show. It's so you. But I've never been like... My Periscope group is recreating Stars Hollow. I'm Luke. I'm pretty sure you're, is it Lainey? I don't know. Lainey is the, she's the Asian girl. Laurel, um, I always call her Rory's best friend. Well, Rory's real name is Lorelai. Do you remember that from the first season? No. Either that or her middle name is Lorelai. Anyway, I will gladly be, what's her name? You're, I think it's Lainey. Lainey? That sounds right. Yeah, I'm Luke. I'll be Lainey. Juliana is Jessie. Who's Jesse? Jesse is the bad boy boyfriend. We're all taking the male roles. Uh, Jenny of Lone Lard. Yeah. Listen, you guys, I'm so sorry. One last comment. Jenny is Kirk. I don't know any She's of these names yet. Kirk. She's perfect. Wait, who is Kirk? Kirk is the funny guy that has every job in town. Oh my gosh, I've really got to start watching more. I Dang. want to live in Stars Hollow. Well, I mean, we're close enough. It's we're right dream. by Hartford. It's not at all. Oh, I know. It's, but but Hartford isn't even depicted right. No. It's like, not even. Hartford's, yeah. It's not, doesn't look like that. No. I don't think it ever looked like that. Yeah. All right, this is bad. We've got to stop. We've turned into a TV podcast. We are TV addicts. We are serial TV addicts. Okay, one last thing. The Path. Check it out. Oh, yeah. It's only on Hulu, though. So oh, you have to it. have Hulu to be able to watch it. It's um, Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad is the lead, or at least he one of the leads. is, I would put him in one of the best actor categories. Oh, yeah. He's brilliant. He I really is him. brilliant. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. He is Because we were world. Breaking Bad fanatics. Oh, my gosh. That is something I'm surprised didn't, although I wasn't an inner back then, so, but... Did it? Mm, did that show sweep the knitting community or no? I don't no? think so. Because that think... is one that is. <sighs> you can just picture the blue, right? That's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> there are so many colorways that could have been created, like the yeah. yellow jumps, the the yellow suits when they were we sitting will on the couch. Like that's. I feel like that's. That's yeah. it. Anyway, brilliant show. Uh, yeah, if you haven't, if you seen, haven't it, seen it, run, run, run! Oh my gosh, so good! Oh my gosh. Okay, um, so do we have busy weeks? We're gonna do a lot of knitting. I hope do you guys. You guys are probably listening to the dogs. The right dogs now. are barking. Dave and Jacob are going to bring my car to the garage. I think they might be getting back that already. Might be, that might be what they're barking. I can't imagine they left and got there and back already. They're yeah. not the fastest people. They're not. Okay, so by next week, I feel like I am gonna have used up my packet. I will hope that I am in the same boat. I think I might be. I went back and counted, and I did 10 blocks. I know. Yeah. I you, missed a few. Mom forgot to show you guys ten. a couple of them. Um, yeah, that was, you uh, could definitely get through those. I could, but there's other things I should do. Well, I, I got to think about it. During our intermission, I knit a block 
I only do the 20 by 20 blocks, but. So smart. But look. Oh, it's you're so fresh, my Chelsea. Little Chelsea is so fresh from Connie. Connie. I love We've it. We've had a few updates that have been fantastic. Yeah. Jilly Nuts. Jilly Nuts. So, yeah, I would like to say that this would be a goal of mine as well. I'd really like to think that. I'm going to start one tonight. Mm -hmm. I would also like to think that maybe I would have completed pairs of socks. The socks. But, yeah. Yeah, I got a lot to do. I'm very unfocused again, but my office is getting cleaner, which is really helping. Mm -hmm. Really Here's helping. That brain speak. It is. I'm feeling very at peace. That's good. Yeah. So, setting some goals. Um, you God, guys do that? I feel like what a lot of people do. See, for me, I never did until we started podcasting because you kind of need to have goals mm -hmm. so that you have stuff Jake's to show. in the background now. We have a very busy house. He's right behind your head. There he is. That's Jeff. 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 We met him last next. time. That's our kitchen. It's such a beautiful view from the kitchen into this room now that that's hanging. Mm -hmm. It really makes me want to wash dishes. It does? Not really. No, definitely not. Not really. Just stand out there. So we have our goals for the week. We hope you've set some of your own. Um, hopefully you guys had a great weekend. I know we did. We did. It was very peaceful, very mm -hmm. quiet. It was nice. Yep. Needs to get warmer here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now Justin's moving. We got cars moving, people going. He could have pulled into the garage. My car's gone. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope. Oh, I don't have any needles. Why not? Where are your needles? Well, I left my knitting over there. Oh, all right. So thank you so much for spending some time with us this week. We know you have a lot of lot. podcasts to watch, and we really appreciate you taking the time to spend some 